ride I saw the other day. The tinted windows and the loud music and all that jazz right there. That's the rocking grandma house right there. Must be. I just thought I'd point it out real quick that I came across the rock and ride when grandma was driving every day. So anyway, we'll see you in the flip. Peace. And friends and alike, I'm coming at you from Dayton, Ohio. I'm still stuck here. It's uh, September 9th, 2014. It's a Tuesday. Tomorrow will be an early Wednesday morning for me. I'm working at day labor. I haven't gotten in a van yet. I've applied to a bunch of different ones. The guy from V3 Transportation called me back, but I don't know if I'll get that or not. Speaking of vans, there goes one right there. I met with him at the Loves right here the other day. He went back to Illinois, so I don't know if I'll get on with him or not. Seemed like everything was all good, but I don't know. He said th next Thursday or Friday I'll be back up this way. So we'll see if I get to go into expedite shipping yet or not. In terms of that, um, I just went and found me, and I'm not trying to be racist here, but a really talkative black guy that I happen to notice talks to everybody and knows everybody and everybody knows him on the streets and blah, 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 blah. And I knew that that guy would know the spot in town to do panhandling and whatever and whatnot. And basically I dabbled in some meal drug runs the other day that I didn't want to do, packing drugs in my car, but you do what you gotta do on the street to make gas money and make work faster if you can't get set out legally at day labor jobs and whatnot. But, so basically that's just where I'm coming at for an update. It's uh, September 9th, 2014. I'm still in Dayton, Ohio. I'm kind of more downtown by the truck stop. I'm in Love's truck stop because it's, as you know, truck stops and Walmarts and uh, Cabela's and whatnot are pretty, you know, lenient on people sleeping in trucks, sleeping in vans, and of course, sleeping in cars. So there are security people here, but I already tell you don't care that I'm hanging out here in the corner. But anyway, I just wanted to bring it up, not throwing out the race card or anything, but uh, if you ever do get stranded, out there where you don't have know where to go and what to do uh, find yourself the most talkative black guy out there <laughs> doesn't have to be black guy it could be the most talkative mexican or for that matter the most talkative white guy you can find but mostly your blacks and your mexicans and the people that are really really talkative of that group you know the type of guy i'm talking about where the guy knows everybody and everybody knows him you know and he makes it a point in his life to know everybody on you know on the streets or whatever that's the type you want to find because he knows where all the resources are. He knows where the best panhandling spots are. He knows where mule drug runs are that you can make fast money with if you had to go the legal route to do that. And so on and so forth. So I used my last ditch effort resort after not being sent out to lay anywhere there a couple days in a row and used his help to get the tank filled back up so I could get rolling again for day laboring in. But there for a little bit, for a minute, <laughs> like he says, just for a minute. I was riding on air. Seems like I've been riding on air the last 15 days. But anyway, it's Dayton, Ohio. It's uh, about 14 days of being stuck here. Minneapolis, Indiana. I'm gonna work day labor today, or I mean tomorrow, I should say, in early Wednesday morning. At Labor Works, a temporary labor spot, and then hopefully gonna send me out doing forklift job at a factory or a construction site. I'm not sure which job I'll get in the morning. The only updates I got, um, I'm just sending that all your way, you know. Yeah, something else to look out for, you know, when you're out on the streets and whatnot. Look at the people who have been on the streets for a while. The people who are successful in that they always have money on them, whether it's, you know, two or three bucks a day or five bucks or 20 bucks or whatever, and they know where all the uh, social or somewhat illegal jobs are. But illegal jobs tend to be pay higher paying and faster gotten cash than the legal paying jobs. <laughs> so if you have to go that route, you know, there's an option. So anyway... Uh, it's September 9th, 2014. It's uh, Tuesday. It's going to be Wednesday in a minute. And since I keep repeating myself, I'll call it good for this video. We will catch you on the flip. Like and subscribe at the bottom of the, of the video and make any comments you wish to, to make. If they're negative comments, I probably won't get back to you. If they're positive, uplifting comments. Because I like to be positive and uplifting even in the crappiest of situations like the one I'm in right now. <laughs> I will probably get back and say, hey, thanks for the comment, yo. So, but either way, negative, positive, whatever, I don't care. Just give me some feedback on my videos because that lets me know how, kind of how I'm doing. Hopefully I'm getting better at holding the camera while I talk to you and so on and so forth. And real quick shot of me. What's up, you two? So, we will catch you on the flip. Peace. I think it's going to be a long night. All that white rubber and metal flooring we have to take up underneath everything after everybody gets done with their stuff. 
soon as they get done on this end, we're gonna start and go that way. We just spent the last couple hours unlocking the little blocks. That felt like a like cleaning the auditorium with a like cleaning the stadium floor with a toothbrush. Seems <laughs> like had 12 of us though, so it didn't go too bad. I can subscribe to your comments from a kitchen of flip PC. It must be a classic car show in town because they are all over the place in the hills today. I think they're all waiting to be together or something. I am on my way to Blue Bell, and then depending on whether they meet me there or not, I may end up going down Hot Springs. But the girls are gonna come see me, so like, subscribe, and comment, catch you in the kitchen, flip Friends and alike, I'm in Plainsville, Texas. It's Grant coming at you. It's November 14th, 2014, and I'm at the local, looks like, high school. Maybe this was when I was meant to come down here and see. I had this feeling that I had to come down here for some reason. I can see on Google Maps, but that don't mean that there's not a day labor office. You just have to ask around and see. Sometimes Google Maps doesn't have everything. And if nothing else, there's Saturday and Sunday. I go to a church and see if I can get something lined up that way. Work for a church in the afternoon or something. Who knows? Maybe get a job down here. I don't know. I had some kind of feeling like I had to be here for some reason. So I'm here to. make a quick video to add in my extension video later on but this is what makes life worth living experience seeing firsthand how other people live across the country I'm in a town in the north east not way way northeast but kind of Midwest northeast section basically it's the northern part of Ohio before you get up to the lakes every town in Ohio almost looks the same Except it's smaller and whatnot, but experiencing the culture, going to a local bar, going to a local restaurant, see what they got going on downtown in their park, checking out their libraries, checking out the universities, stuff like that, and just touring around the place and asking the locals where to hang out, or where they hang out at, and what's well, all to do. But anyway, this is why I get out and do it. You know, it's all completely free. You can go out and walk around and discover everything new to you, same old. I think I'm going 
going to the museum first and then we take these ships out. Then go back to Cheers. And then do a skywalk thing over the top of that one building in Boston. Weldon Drew and Andy Marino. Team number 11 in shoot seven is the Montana Bar from Glasgow. Milo Emmett and Jordan Jackson. Pick your favorites, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Back up behind the line, gentlemen. Shoot boss Highlander is drawing the line. We get the thumbs up from Ty Linger. Let's count it down, ladies and gentlemen, in Wild Horse Race. How about in three, two, one, Wild Horse Race, Wild City. <laughs> and it is pandemonium as usual. Anger Valley team number one in pretty good shape in the red shirt. It looks like a Pat Pirelli clinic gone awry here at the Bucket Horse Sale for sure. There's a lot of horse whispering going on. Two, three, four, saddle up. The Anger Valley team from Stapleton, Nebraska. They're mounted up and ready to go. Team number four is just about there. That's the Andrew Valley team in the red shirts. In the blue shirts, Lana Duff is the Blue Hill Steakhouse of Toulon, and they are now unmounted. The black and white paint horse already broke the ride. Has one gear, it's four wheel drive wood. It's going to come down to a horse race, and it looks like they're in pretty good shape if someone else can get on the track. That's team number 11, left of center, upside down, triple the track. Upside down, that's a new move. I've not seen that before. I've been announcing this video for 17 years, and I've never seen anyone ride a horse upside down. Out on the track. Three teams, four teams on the track, and ladies and gentlemen, it is now a horse race. Team number five, the McGarble team in the line green shirts here. He saddled up, has both pedals, and your undivided attention. A little black and white paint horse. He's going to try him. He gets him lined up and headed towards the track. And it's a horse race on the dark side of the track. Hard to see what's going on from here. A lot of whipping and spurring at Jihan going around as they come on the back side of the track. Four or five teams. The Andrew Valley team saddled up way out in the lead to begin with. But they drew the slowest course of the race. They're headed towards the back corner. We've got one the straightaway, looking at spurning. They were like the third team out of the ring. First, the Ross Boys Rodeo Naked Team. Third is Agra Valley. We'll get second place for you. Fourth team, fourth place, I believe, is the Warachek team. And we'll bring up the clean up here. We'll see if there's any horses left on the track. Looks like we've got one still out there. On the back side of the track and headed this direction. One team left. <laughs> so 
So once again in first place, the Friday Night Edition. Buck Nick and Rodeo Team, Mason and Trevor Ross and Trevor Sayer from Jordan, Montana. Third place was Avery Valley from Stapleton, Nebraska. Jake Licking, Jake Warachek, and Eric Duval. We'll get second place to you as soon as we figure out who it was.